Hi, this is Eileen coming at you from Just Kettlebells, and I'm um, gonna do a quick video, hopefully quick, on um, on squatty swings. And so we talk a lot of, um, about the difference between a squat and a hinge in class, where uh, a hinge, our butt comes back, we chop the hips, and a squat, our butt comes down, and we bend our knees. Um, and so that is that movement translates into our swing form. And so a swing is a hinge motion where our butt comes back and then the power comes back to front, like so. Um, but what happens is a lot of people will swing squatty. And they'll hear me say, you're swinging squatty or you have a squatty swing. So I'm just going to um, talk about, I'm going to show you what a squatty swing, swing looks like and then just talk about what you might be feeling during a squatty swing to give you a clue that that swing is squat, squatty. Because other than... Um, getting a video or having an instructor tell you that your swing is squatty, you may not feel it. So um, for a proper swing will be a hip hinge. A squatty swing will be more like this. And what I feel when I'm doing this swing is my butt coming up and down. The bell will not come all the way back. We're only probably to here and probably will come lower than my knees. And then I'll also feel much more stress or muscle tension in my quads, because really what I'm using is my quads to push the bell up. Squatty swings usually start with a squatty setup. Um, and so I always tell people not to just come down to the bell, because when you come down to the bell, you're gonna with, without doing a proper hip hinge, you're probably going to do one or two things. You're going to do a forward bend to the bell, or you're going to squat down to the bell. And so when you're squatting, you see, like, you can feel the bend into your knees. When you hip hinge, the bending of the knees is just an afterthought. Like, you're not thinking, I'm going to bend my knees. When you squat, you can feel your knees bend. And so in that initial setup, what I always tell people is stand tall, chop your hips back, arms come down and then come out and grab your bell rather than just coming down to the bell which is going to set you up squatty. So um, usually over time lots of swinging the squattiness will start to come out of the swing as your uh, core strength develops um, and then you're able to send the bell deeper. This just takes a lot more core strength than this and it's really just the difference between this. If you think about this, this is more of a plank position where you need to support weight with your body in more of a horizontal position. Whereas when you're squat, when you're doing a squatty swing, your body, so kind of gravity is working in your favor, you're just kind of coming up and down, and you're really not supporting the weight of the bell um, through that transition with your core. So which is, which is why using a, a hip hinge is a much more effective full body workout and activates a posterior chain, which is really what needs to work, and not your quads. So, that's my tip for today. Thanks.